coming week, our chef on a shoestring returns as a judge on Bravo's Top Chef DC, one of my favorite shows is Top Chef. That's not all Gail Simmons is up to, though. She's also star in the Top Chef spinoff, Just Desserts, coming later this year. And of course, that's when she's not moonlighting as a special projects director for Food & Wine magazine. And then in all her free time, she stops by on the early show to whip up a simple summer meal for four on our budget of $40. So good to have you back with us. Thank you. Well, You're this is busy the good girl. stuff. Thank you. You know what? This is the part I love. This is the this is where I get my hands dirty. Okay, well, perfect. And what, do you, what are we making this morning? Well, we're making three things. We're making a zucchini and mozzarella salad with some garlic and fresh parsley. I like it. Perfect for spring and summer. Some harissa roasted chicken with onions and chickpeas. Mm. And finally, for strawberry season, some strawberry cupcakes. And it look, I like that it all looks beautiful. You've got great color here. You know, color is the key to health. Health, to health in your food and also to flavor. Mm, very nice. So we'll so, start off with the zucchini. Great. I have had some great Let's zucchini start. lately. You know, this whole menu was inspired because I'm about to leave for the Food & Wine Classic in Aspen, right. which is June 18th to 20th. Tom Kaliki and I are doing a demo. We're doing some North African flavors. We're doing some merguez sauce, some chickpeas. So I'm taking those chickpeas and I'm making them our harissa her roasted chicken with Perfect. that. Let's start with but zucchini. But we'll start with the zucchini. We're going to take a little bit of oil. How I've sliced my zucchini on a mandolin. On a mandolin, that was my question. And I used, um, I made them tool. about a quarter inch okay. thick. I'm going to toss them with a little olive oil, sea pepper, salt, exactly, pepper. and pepper. Get them, you know, covered in oil so that they're ready to go on the grill. Right. And then, if you want to help me here, just Happily. place them right on the grill. Okay. Now I have some, exactly. And then we just grill these for a little bit. About five minutes each side, you want to get Easy. these beautiful marks. Yep. And if you want to pass me that plate, actually what I'm going to do first is toss them with a little garlic, parsley. So after you cook them, you toss them again? Yes, put okay. them right back in that bowl. You need to, You don't want to use two bowls here, we're, we're conserving. We're saving water too. That's a right. A little bit of parsley. Exactly. And then Dump all of this in that garlic? garlic. Yeah, sure. There we go. It's a little bit of vinegar as well. This is white wine vinegar? This is red, red wine, wine vinegar. vinegar. Exactly. Get it all tossed up. And then it goes right on the plate. And this, this is a so beautiful easy. salad, super and easy. And this is buffalo mozzarella. That's the kind you buy in the store. That's it's right. in water. Get the Slice salted one. The salted one, not the unsalted. That's the right. The flavor right here is not so hot That's on the That's exactly unsalted. right. So we've got our salad here. I'm going to taste this. What yeah, you please do. You mentioned you're making a harissa chicken. That's a lot, right. A lot of people may not be familiar with this. Harissa is a North African pepper paste. It's fiery. It's got tons of flavor. It's great in salad dressings, great in marinades. It's from Tunisia. Mm -hmm. so it's that sort of Moroccan-Tunisian mm -hmm. flavor. That's good, right? Mm -hmm. So I have a Very little good. bit of harissa that I'm putting in a bowl to make a marinade. Is this fairly easy to find in your grocery store Absolutely. these days? Absolutely. Most okay. specialty aisles in the grocery store will certainly have it. I have Greek yogurt that's going to add yogurt. beautiful creaminess and some lemon juice, and this is going to become a marinade that I'm going to marinate my chicken with. Okay. Once I mix it all together, ooh, Good now kitchen. I'm splattering. Wish I had that apron, Erica. Right, see, with your name, in case you, yes. in case you didn't know. It looks beautiful. Good, thank you. So, so I have this we, beautiful once we marinade. Once we mix this up and we marinate the chicken, how long are you going to leave it, right it in, in there here? for? Yeah. I'm going to let it marinate for about an hour in the fridge okay. just to get all of those flavors really mixed together. So these are both pretty quick, too, dishes so far, which is really nice. Super quick. Now I have my oven on 425, really nice and hot. I'm going to mix this around, let it sit for an hour, and when and it comes this. out, it looks like this. And you, you're putting it in with, it looks like you've already cooked the chickpeas. That's right. I have a can of simple chickpeas rinsed, put in with some salt, pepper, olive oil, and some red onions. I've roasted them in my 425 oven for 15 minutes. Take them out. I'm going to put the chicken right on, and I'm going to roast that chicken for 45 minutes back in the oven. And you're using chicken thighs? I'm using chicken legs, exactly. Chicken legs, okay. It's a really economical cut of meat, and it's delicious. It's got the good fat that makes it nice and moist. And when it comes Gives out, it all it's that flavor. super golden brown. Look at this, it's the magic beautiful. of television. How great. And then when I'm done, I can plate it right here. Okay. I'm going to take those tongs from you again. Here we go. And to, for dessert, strawberry cupcake. It's strawberry season. I've added some strawberry jam and fresh strawberries to the frosting. You just sort of put that in the frosting to exactly. make that. And you can have more of these delicious recipes also if you want to come to the classic. Tickets are still on sale. I would sale. love to come. Go to Next year I am there. I swear Slash next year classic. I am there. Thank I'm you. not sure exactly how much time we have left, but I know that we want to see how well you did with, of course, the challenge. Yeah. So let's see how this low is the, this is the part that makes Gail me was nervous. able to go. Here we go, the total. 37.22. I'm guessing that's pretty good. Can we see the lineup? Oh, guys. Look at this.
You're in the top oh, three, and the top three are all women, I would like to point this out. Okay. Okay. This is fantastic. I am in good company. Kelly and Amanda, amazing chefs. Both. Uh, yeah. I'm honored. Medalist. So we can add that to the list. I'm Give us an idea for folks trying. who have never been to, as you mentioned, the Aspen Food and Wine Classic is coming up. You can that's buy right. tickets to it. And you actually do food and wine events in, in a number of cities. Oh, that's right. But this one is our special, special weekend. Foodandwine.com slash classic for tickets. There's tons of, there's going to be incredible seminars, demonstrations, parties all weekend long. And you can go to these seminars and meet some of the chefs that you that's see right. on Top Chef that you see on TV all the time. That's you right. and Tom Calipio are there. We sure are. There's tons of great chefs there. Giada De Laurentiis is there. Mario Batali, David Chang, Thomas Keller. Your name is there. there. It doesn't make a difference. I'm there. Uh, there you, you go. Come here. Great guys. to have you. Come back again Thanks, soon. Guys. And have a great time. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.